Hi everyone! I know it's been a few minutes since I've done a reading, but I have three new books that I will be doing excerpts from in the next few weeks. The first one will be Adventures at Sea. After that will be Vampires in Atlanta, which is a side story from the one, not necessarily a sequel to the one. And the third one is More Magic City Murders, which is a direct sequel to Magic City Murders. I know, shocking, right, with that title? <laughs> but tonight will be Adventures at Sea. I'm going to read chapter one for y'all. It's available in ebook, hardcover, and paperback on Amazon and ebook at barnesandnoble.com. The first chapter is called First Meeting. The first chapter is all flashbacks, so you'll have to really get into the book if you want to know what's going to happen next. This starts six years earlier. Aria Lewis stood in attention for her pass and review exam. She had successfully graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy and was ready for her first official assignment. Once the ceremony concluded, Aria joined her fellow classmates at the reception hall, where they were the most relaxed they'd been in months, maybe even years. Aria was slowly sipping from her drink when she noticed the chief engineer of the USS Observer, James Scotty Scott, standing at the other end of the table. James Scott was her hero, and she was over the moon at the mere sight of him. He stood at an average height while his build was heavier set in his older age. Scotty had mostly dark hair, dark gray hair with some white starting to show through and a matching mustache, but his deep brown eyes hadn't changed in the slightest. She took a deep breath and made her way towards him, hoping not to make a fool of herself. Chief Scott, Aria began, her voice small and soft. I'm Ensign Aria Lewis. I, want, I just wanted to let you know that you are one of my heroes and a large part of the reason behind me joining the Navy. She finished as she felt her, her cheeks beginning to blush. Scotty's lips curved into a genuine smile as he offered his hand. It's very nice to meet you, lass. Where, what are your plans now that you've graduated, he inquired as their hands met. Both parties felt sparks from just that small touch, but they chose to ignore it for the moment. I'm planning to go into intelligence. That's where I excelled in training and it's what I enjoyed working on the most, she shared, attempting to hide the giddiness at meeting him from her tone. He nodded. That's a very good and important choice. He started to look as if he was going to say something else, but stopped. Arya urged him to continue. Were you going to say something else? She questioned while wearing a warm smile before adding, Anything you can share with me would be most appreciated. I can only hope to have a career half as successful as yours has been. Scotty smiled once again. Well, I know this is your special day, but I was wondering if you'd like to grab dinner with me. I was thinking we could head over to the chart house, he suggested, his tone growing more and more timid with each word. His nervous energy was adorable, but she wouldn't admit that to him until many years later. She pretended to think over his offer for a moment so she wouldn't come across as too excited or desperate. Finally, she replied, that sounds like a very nice idea. I'd love to join you, she agreed. He offered his arm, which Arya gladly took, as he guided her out of the reception to the location of what would become their very first date. Scotty drove them to the chart house, where they were given a table as soon as they walked through the door. Once they were seated, Arya decided that it was her turn to be bold. So, she began, did you ask me to dinner to give me advice for my career, or was it for a more personal reason? It was his turn to blush as he nearly choked on his Irish whiskey. You're awfully bold for a recent graduate, do you know that? He asked in return, buying himself some time to answer her question. So I've been told, she replied with a sly wink as she took a sip of her rosé. I'll take some of the pressure off if you'd like. If I'm being honest, I hoped that you asked me out for personal reasons and not professional ones, she shared as her lips curled into a coy smile. Scotty was grateful he hadn't taken another sip from his drink for fear he would have choked. He took a deep breath before he replied, well... I did ask you here for personal reasons. I'm very aware that I might be a bit too old for you, but it was worth a shot to see what happens next, he confessed. The pair sat in silence for a few minutes before Arya broke the quiet that had developed between them. Would you believe me if I told you that I was hoping you were asking me out and that I'd really like to see you again after tonight, she revealed, just as their food arrived at the table? No, lass, I wouldn't, he responded once they were alone again. However, I would like to take you out again. Just to put your words to the test, he added, in a challenging tone, causing her to smirk. She reached across the table and grasped his hand in her own. I look forward to it. A few days later, we're still six years before the story begins. Arya and Scotty had exchanged numbers during their dinner at the chart house. Once a few days had passed, Arya texted him and invited him to join her at Game On Bar and Arcade. She knew it was a little young for him, but she also knew they'd have a blast. Scotty agreed to Arya's delight, and they planned to meet at the location later that evening. 
She threw on a t-shirt and jeans for the event and headed to the bar, happy to find him already there waiting on her. Good evening, he greeted her while wearing a large smile on his face. I wasn't sure about your choice of location given my age, but I think this will be surprisingly fun. Aria flashed a smile back at him as she offered her arm. I think you're going to have a fabulous time, she agreed, as she guided him inside where they got their cards to play games, along with drinks. They made their way to the ski ball tables to get the night started. The pair was roaring with laughter as they realized how competitive they were. After a few rounds of games, Aria and Scotty took a seat at the bar to relax and gather their bearings. I did not think you'd be so competitive, she commented as she took a swig of her beer. A sly smile crept across his lips. There are a lot of things you don't know about me, lass. But I'm hoping we are granted the time for you to find out, he added, a blush running across his face. Aria was about to respond when she was distracted by the sound of a notification on her phone. She pulled it out and saw she had an email. Normally, she wouldn't check while she was on a date, but it was her posting and she needed to know. She took a deep breath as she opened the message and read through the text for her assignment. What is it, Scotty asked, curious as he watched her face take on a multitude of expressions as she read. Aria placed her phone down on the bar before she replied. It looks like we're going to have plenty of time to get to know each other. I've been assigned to the USS Observer as an intelligence officer. She was beaming as she shared the news. He was consumed by her excitement as he placed his hands on the sides of her face before pulling her closer until he could place his lips to hers, initiating their first kiss as a couple. She was surprised by the kiss at first, but quickly gave in as she ran her hands around his neck until they were gripping his hair to bring him closer. Chapter two is the mission. So if you want to know what these two get up to a few years later after they initially had their first dates, you'll have to continue on on Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to read you the next two. Good night.